Hey everyone, I'm going to do a super quick varnishing demo here. Um, I've got a little oyster study and I recommend that if you've not done this before you start off on something small that you don't really care about until you get used to the process. This is a watercolor on a Raymar ACM panel. Um, at this stage I've got six coats of golden archival gloss varnish applied and one isolation coat and I'm going to be doing a top coat here of gloss polymer varnish with UVLs. Um, for brush application of this it is four parts varnish to one part water. If you're spraying it it's two to one. Um, and I've already mixed mine but just use a knife Gently mix it together. You don't want to get it all frothy or bubbly. And for application, I am going to use this uh, Da Vinci Spin. It's a synthetic. I've got a little roll of tape there so I can just brush right off the side. And it's pretty straightforward. I apply the varnish relatively thinly depending on how heavy you are. It might look chalky or milky at first. It dries clear so don't worry about that. But I recommend a thin application. You can always go back and do another one if you decide you need a better or different finish in the end. And that's pretty much it. I don't overwork it because I don't want it to get cloudy, but I'll just let that dry at least six hours for reapplication. Uh, usually I just let it go overnight and then take a look at the finish and see what you think. Uh, you got a, you know, different aesthetics if you want the matte or the gloss or semi-gloss, you have to kind of experiment and see what you like. but. That's all there is to it.